Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is day two of Vlogmas and this is the first Storytime Saturday on our channel. And I am so excited because today is the long awaited topic about Club 33, oh my gosh. If you didn't see my last Dapper Day vlog, I actually got to go to Club 33. Okay, so there's just a lot of emotions I have about Club 33. I haven't wanted to go to Club 33 ever since I even like heard about Disneyland years ago, even before I was like a fan. I I really knew what Club 33 was when I was younger because everyone talked about it as the most exclusive club in Disney. So I knew that it was a really like popular place. I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was a, like a bar or like an actual club, like a lounge, which it is kind of, but it's mostly known for its restaurant that they have and the food that they make. And so it wasn't until I got older and really until I started vlogging that I really understood what Club 33 was and how major it was to be able to go to Club 33. And so I just built it up in my head and it became one of the number one things I wanted to do on my bucket list, not even my Disney bucket list, but like my lifelong bucket list of getting into Club 33. And I was so lucky to be able to get to go in November for Dapper Day. And it was literally the best day of my life, the best trip of my life. It was just so amazing. And so I wanted to share my experience with you guys. And I took some pictures. I uh, I can't take any video in the um, restaurant. You couldn't take pictures in the bathroom, so none of that. But I do have pictures of the food, so I'm gonna scoot over here so I can start highlighting some of the most amazing things about Club 33. So basically you have the doorbell for Club 33 which everybody sees and the door to Club 33 which everyone sees from New Orleans Square you ring the doorbell and a hostess comes over and she tells you she confirms your reservation because it's secret so you got to have a reservation to get in obviously and so you get cleared by her to walk through and the first thing you walk through is like the hostess stand and then there's some merchandise that you can buy later on either during your meal or after you're done and then you walk into the Court of Angels and the Court of Angels is so beautiful it's literally this like open open air room and you look up and it's just it's the sky like it's not like a building or anything like that it's actually around club 33 and it's a courtyard and there's some fountains there's really cute tables and chairs and they even offer you some water that's like specially flavored to the season so they had some like cranberry infused water that they gave us it literally tasted like holidays in a cup it was delicious but uh she gave us all glasses there were five of us the fifth member um yeah, there were five of us. The fifth member was was late, uh, but the four of us got to sit and drink our water for a little bit. We got to wait, and then all of a sudden we saw Donald and uh, Pluto just kind of like walk along. There's like this little alcove that you can see out into where the bathrooms are on the top floor, and they saw that we saw them walk by, and we're like, what the heck? Like I didn't know Club Three had characters. Lo and behold, they were meeting that day, and so we walked up the stairs when our reservation was ready. You walk through these beautiful doors and the Club 33 mat and they were there, the characters were there and no one is there obviously because Club 33 is super exclusive so like it's busy but like no one's just randomly like running around, it's not like a packed restaurant. So we were able to just walk up and take pictures with them and it was amazing. So here are some really cute pictures of our group and myself meeting Donald and Pluto and they were just so sweet, they were just so cute. I love Donald, he's one of my favorites. Um, and so that was just a lot of fun before a meal and once again on the top floor they have more merchandise and another stand where you can actually buy all of your stuff. Uh, to the left, you actually walk in and there's the lounge or the bar where there's other food that's being served. Um, I think it's more like pub food or like club style food there. Um, I We didn't get to go there, um, but I've heard that it's beautiful and that's really where Walt like spent his time and there's like director's chairs for seats. It's like really cute from what I've seen. But you walk to the right and it's this beautiful like crystal room that you walk through and its windows are exposed on both sides. You can look out into New Orleans Square. You feel like you're on top of the world and you walk in and we sat at the table very close to the front of that entrance and then the uh, the room was beautiful. There was all wood panels and there were paintings of Club 33 and of New Orleans Square and the Haunted Mansion and I was just in heaven. It was so beautiful. I want to own all of those art pieces to hang in my room. Um, but you sit down and it's this beautiful white tablecloth setting and they have these gorgeous menus we all order drinks and they have some really cool looking non-alcoholic drinks too which one of our friends got I got a Moscow Mule which was the best Moscow Mule I've ever had I mean granted I'm like nearly 21 so I don't have that many but from how many I've had this is by far one of the best ones ever 
it came with a little 50th um uh, I don't even know, like a little stir, because I guess Club 33 has been around. It's celebrating its 50th anniversary. Um, and then you get a menu. So here's a picture of the menu, and you get to pick four courses. There is an appetizer, a salad or soup, an entree, and a dessert. So I have some pictures of the food. So starting with the first course, I got the duck, and this was, let's see, this here was the smoked maple leaf duck breast with St. Andre mousse and berries, which was delicious. You guys, this was so good. Everything worked together super well. Um, honestly, it, I don't like mustard very much. There were little dollops of mustard on the plate, and I just I ate it all because I'm like, girl, you're at Club 33. You gotta live it up. You gotta eat everything. So, because I knew it was gonna be good, delicious. Like this is probably one of my favorite courses that I had. Um, the second course that I got was the soup. This was the butternut squash soup with cranberry beans. Um, duck confit and Tuscan kale. Um, the picture doesn't look like super great because it's just like this like brown soup but I thought it was really good um kind of funny and there's a little story about it but we had um like a bunch of us had ordered the soup three of us had ordered the soup and so the waiters bring it out in these on the little carts and then they fill up the soup it's one of those things where like the bowl has the ingredients on it and then they pour the broth on it and so myself and another guy that we were with got like a full cup of the soup and the girl that came in late with us, um, she sat down and they were serving her and she literally got like this much soup and the guy spilled all over the front of her plate. Okay, so like she's been to Club 33 a couple times, but like I thought it was really funny because normally like you'd think Club 33 is a super professional place, which it is and it's super fancy and beautiful, but like she got nothing and the guy's hand was like shaking the whole time and I felt really bad. Um, and we laughed and it was fine, like she didn't really care, but it was just one of those little things that you're like, shouldn't Club 33 be better at that? Um, but honestly though we had like such a good time it was it was great so i thought the soup was really good really hearty and then for my main course i got the filet this was the angus filet mignon with roasted mushrooms telegio cream and a poached onion oh my god you guys this was so delicious. i'm trying to look at a picture of it so i can look at it. this filet was so good it was so tender this i'm like a sauce like lover so anytime that there's like a wine sauce or anything i am all over it i loved this this was a perfect medium rare that i ordered so that's good sometimes people can mess up the cook of the steak i thought this was delicious and then we had this harvest dessert which was pumpkin ice cream it was a pumpkin let's see what else it was a pumpkin ice cream a pumpkin layer cake and pumpkin pot de creme oh my god it, I was like all the second I looked at the menu I saw this and I was like I need to get this because pumpkin is my favorite of all time and so this too was plated just like beautifully and it was the pumpkin ice cream the pumpkin ice cream literally tasted like pumpkin pie like frozen pumpkin pie it was so good it was so delicious so I mean overall the meal I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10 um, I'm being really like st actually I probably would have given it a 10 out of 10 uh, even though some of the stuff like it wasn't out of this world delicious because I've been lucky enough to eat at some really amazing restaurants and this was really this was good this was high up there but I wouldn't rate it my favorite restaurant I've ever been to um, the service was 10 out of 10 I loved the service it was I mean the soup thing didn't happen to me but my personal experience was 10 out of 10 uh, it was amazing because you would go to the bathroom and they would fold up your napkin again or they'd give you a new napkin and it was great because some of us had darker dresses and so they actually swapped out white napkins for black napkins like what the heck that is so cool I've never been to a restaurant that did that and so I thought they were really considerate they ask you if you have any dietary restrictions when you walk in they make sure everybody like has you know exactly what they want one of our party members was a vegetarian and or she was um she couldn't have something she couldn't have um meat or anything like that but she wanted a certain dish but it didn't have the meat on it and so they actually made her like a fresh thing um for it and it was really good she said so I'm, I'm really happy that they were able to do that for her and just in general just know that that's what they do the meal overall was about two and a half hours it's a long meal but i mean you're paying a lot of money to sit for a four course meal in the most exclusive club in all of disney basically so 
totally worth it to me. You actually get to take little breaks between your courses. They probably spend about 15 to 20 minutes between each course um, where you can get up. You can actually walk out into the courtyard. Here's some pictures of us um, on the balcony of Club 33 that literally like directly overlook New Orleans Square where the French Market is and where uh, Cafe Orleans is. And you can walk around, I think, the whole border of the restaurant. We didn't do that, but here's some pictures of us all hanging out. Um, and it was just, it was so amazing. The meal turned out to be like 120 eight dollars something like that with my drink so it wasn't actually that bad for lunch with dinner it's much more expensive i haven't even looked into that but it was really really good and honestly i'm just so grateful for the experience because it's one of those things that i'm never gonna be able to do again but it was it was so cool that i was able to experience that with some new friends and it was just amazing i really 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 loved the experience i wanted to just give you a little story time about that i had such a great time so i really hope you guys like this video as the second day of vlogmas and the first story time video of the month i can't wait to do more of these so like i said comment below if you love club 33 i love it i'm excited i really hope i get to go like years in the future um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching please follow all my social media links so you don't miss a day of vlogmas please turn on that little bell notification so you get notifications every morning when i post videos but i really hope you guys like this video and until tomorrow when i do a little shout out sunday i will see you in my next video bye guys